Okay, more jankiness with my Texas Instrument TA 994A. I actually now have a Commodore joystick connected and basically it just requires uh, five diodes for joystick one um, and the pins are slightly different. So we've made up this little adapter using two nine pin connectors one going to the joystick, one going to the TI-994A, and this is just my test board on a breadboard with the diodes with uh, five buttons, so I can actually test each one of the operations, such as left, right, fire, up, down. And with the joystick, now we can actually get diagonals. So I've got left, right, up down plus uh, the four diagonals plus the fire button okay so this actually works um i think i might uh put something on some very board later and just uh use some connectors uh not these breakouts that i'm currently using but that's a proof of concept it works quite well so let's just give you a quick demonstration okay so okay Okay, and here we go. We're going to start the game. Okay, and okay. Here's the joystick. Okay, you can see if I push up, it moves up. If I go right, accelerates, go left, it breaks. So I want to jump. Oh, and not very good. Okay, so let's start again. So that's up. Okay, accelerate, fire. Okay, and jump, and <laughs> okay, jumped a little bit early, but okay, let's try that again. Okay, accelerate. Now jump, that's better. Accelerate, jump, fire, jump. Oh, I didn't jump. <laughs> okay, but you get the idea that this actually does work. And I'm just using a Commodore C64 joystick, which is going to this little breakout breadboard, which has the five diodes, and they're just one in 914 diodes. Then again, to the common for joystick one, and that's just going to the other nine pin breakout that's plugged into the uh, Commodore 64. Very janky, but it actually gives me some um, ability to use my uh, Commodore C64 joystick. Okay, I hope this was uh, useful, and thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.